Hi, and welcome again with Umbraco Tutorials. We are doing today part number seven. So uh, the plan for today is to do uh, something easy and simple. And I, th I think it's very useful too. So uh, what we are going to do today, uh, let me show you what we have done in the previous video and or where we are till now. So let's close this one. So uh, this is our simple and small website. It's running here. So today the plan we are going to do together the uh, navbar, how to do it dynamic. So we don't need to back always to the code and delete or add what what we need. Yeah, it's simple to do it because we have here the layout. Do it one in one page, it will be everywhere. But I think it's easier to give it to the user to choose which page he wants to display in this navbar. So how to do uh, this stuff? So there is many approach, uh, but I will use which uh, one is used with the Umbraco 8. So there is some people they create uh, uh, different mod, um, uh, let's say uh, what they call it. So they create different model and they yeah, they make it a bit complicated. I think yeah, it's I think it's good and useful, but we need always to choose something easy and simple. Uh, so the first thing is we need to do. Uh, is we can go to our home page in Visual Studio. Sorry, let's go to the layout. So, in the layout, we need to read everything under the root. What means? What's what that mean? The root is the home page, so we need to read everything under this page. So we'll read about the menu and shifts and the content page. So how to do that one? So easy and simple. Let's write var. I need to get my site, so I will get the uh, root of the site here. So I'm getting the home, everything's under the home page. So I will say it again var. I will get selection. It will equal site. I need the children of the site. This will be where. So I need every only the visible pages. It will be x. X is visible much so let's say x dot is visible that's fantastic so uh, where is it the navbar in this template it's here so we have the home page and under the home page we have the rest so I will delete everything here I will leave the home page and one of the pages so first of all I will work on the home page so uh, what we can do, how to get the home page uh, URL, it's easy, just say add, uh, it will be model, or the, we already would call it the site, dot URL. So the name, same, we can say add site dot name. So we get our home page. But here we have the active one. So how we can pass this active through this uh, list? Uh, what you can do here? We can use the, uh, the HTML row. So we can say add HTML dot row. Uh, let's continue. Yeah, let's do it like this. Let's say model dot ID. If this model dot ID equal my site ID where I am now. So uh, what I will do here, I will leave it active. Okay, or not no, do nothing. We can say that's it. Sorry. Easy and simple. So uh, the next things is now to do the. Uh, if we save like this now, and we back to our browser, uh, let's go to the home page and see what will happen there. Should remove everything. No, we have uh, the home page and one thing, one more. Thing page so I'll open this one again so that's great we have the home page and about page home page is now fine so what we need to get the rest of the pages here so how to do that one sure we need something to call all the pages not for I think for each better 
add for age by yeah inside the for age I will put this one here so we we'll loop on selection okay so how to get the names for that stuff to there for the about page or the menu page and the rest here similar to that one what we'll do here uh, add here we'll have item that url and for the name it will be same that name let's go and check what will happen there yeah that's great so if I press on uh, as you see in the button on the left corner of the screen you can see about and the, even the URL is change it here it's not only the name so the name it's came from what you call it if I change this one here to contact page even there it will be changed uh, here we are in about page so if we back here just to change this one to contact only and let's save this one okay uh, as you remember this page shifts here there is no document uh, sorry there is no template for that one we have done it under the about so I don't need to display this one here and same time I need when I, if I press on about it should be read as active page so how let's do that the active page first uh, let's back to the code so after the nav item if I write uh, active here that means will same similar to the home page will be active page but how to know how I know I am on this page so what I can say I can write add um, an item that is in center or self yeah that's one so in same model so it will be active where are you okay or we can say no close this bracket oh, yeah we have missed one of them one two null oh my god so what is the bracket before this one that's it so now if I save everything, I back to my browser, run it again. Yeah, so if I'm in about page, I will see that it's active. Let's go to menu page and it's active now and the home page, same active. So we'll do now something, uh, we need to focus more, uh, more about it. So as I said to you, I don't need the shift page to be displayed here. So I need to give the user more ability to remove or add anything you want not only if he added under home home page it will be displayed and uh, in this bar and uh, navbar so what you can do here uh, we'll add one more option or one more tab you can call it here we can say uh, allow in the navbar or uh, add to the navbar uh, how to do that stuff so we can go to the settings to edit this uh, document type so before I have mentioned for you small things so as you see here in the home page or in all pages we have something called title so or the page title or the page content so I have something similar in each one of this there is something similar the title the content the, the many things so let me try something new now I will add something we call it composition so I will create small document type and this document type will be inherited in each page I need it so how to do that composition so composition we do it inside a new folder we'll call it composition so under this folder I can let's suppose I, I will now add a new document type but will be document type 
without a template because I don't need template there for uh, that option so what we can call this one uh, we can call it uh, navigation uh, yeah we'll call it navigation and choose color and icon let's save it first and we add under the navigation we can add a tab to make it more organizing let's call it uh, navigation settings okay navigation settings under the navigation setting i need to add uh, let's say add uh, to nav okay if uh, true will be added to the nav bar so here we can put option uh, or checkbox if the user need to add it so he can check that box so but this checkbox will be uh, let's call it checkbox uh, it will be by default uh, false let's leave it okay nav or add to nav let's save this one and save it here so now we have let's, have, let's say we have new class we add this property inside it I need the rest to inherit from this class so how we can add this one the composition uh, document type here we added it already I need to be uh, about page and get the properties from the navigation so here it's easy and simple just go to composition button here press it and you will see here the navigation composition and submit so if I save this this one I will show you exactly what we mean when I say the class will handle it from the second class we'll see how it will be here so I need to add this one to all the pages and this one we don't need it but you can add it let's go to chefs uh, we'll add it under shift under contact under home and this uh, the menu last one too so we can add mo as much as we can here and we can organize our uh, bag office and it will be easy and simple when you will not, when you want to edit or uh, do any mod, uh, modifying your code it will be easier let's say stay okay save it we need the contact we can add this one here too and home page I don't think so we need to cause home page we are calling the home page at the beginning so we call home page out of the the for each we don't need it here we don't need to add that option so let's go to the menu last one so we'll add it to the last one here and we can choose it from here and save so uh, I want to do the generate the models after just saving this one Let's go settings models just build this one more time so I will close the browser and go back to the Fidu to Fidu studio okay and we just need to include the the new models we have added here so we have the navigations the navigation uh, class so this one if you open this class here I will find just only the add to nav which one I have add so if I close this one and if you remember we as I said to you we included or we uh, yeah we make the composition so what's made that the composition I uh, the inherit I navigation so the everything to have in the i navigation will be included in my uh, shifts uh, class and it's already here that's great let's close this one and we back to our layout 
So there we said if the checkbox is true, that means show to the end user the, the page. So how we can do it here? We can do it in the in simple way. We can say that that's where here we can say uh, x equal x dot if this page has a property call it what you call it this one uh, add to nav okay so this one not, that's not enough if it has this property is it true or false here I will check it so it will be again and it will be x dot uh, it will be here get property So the get property it will be same this one. Give me the value of this one. That uh, value. This value is it equal to uh, true? Because already this one uh, boolean. That's a great. And let's go run this one and check what will happen there. So it's loading. So as you see here, I have nothing here. Why? Uh, let's back to the back office. Go to um, Rocco back office. And we'll choose now which page we need. By default, as I told you, because uh, the home it's out of the uh, for each. So let's back to one of the pages. And we can say add to uh, the navbar. So let's go to about page so in the content here just we need to check we said uh, add to navbar so we have we have here we have the this section for the navbar just we need to save it I will just test with one of them and show you how it will be so let's back to our uh, front it's taking time a bit yeah so if refresh our page And we'll see the about page here. Uh, if we check the menu to here, similar to that one. Publish this one. Uh, chefs, we don't need it because it's, as I told you, it's included in the about page. And this will be future plan how to do it macro and to add it in simple way. And then different things will be. Uh, last one will be the contact page so if we back to the front again we'll check now our page we'll see the page which one we choose it will be displayed for the end user I think this easy and simple way how to do it is the simplest way this one and as you see it's a few lines with a few changes in the back office we have very uh, great uh, feature and to make our website more dynamic and more flex flexible for the end user. Uh, I think this brings me to the end of this video. Please, if you have any question, uh, just write it in the comment. I will be more than happy to answer it. Uh, thank you so much, and bye-bye.